Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh. What's going on guys? Yeah, you caught me in the middle of my happy dance. Why am I so happy? Because we hit over 400 subscribers guys. 400, oh my God, another milestone in the books. Another milestone in the books. This family tree is getting huge and it's all because of you. So you know what that means? That means we are gonna be doing a subscriber inspired episode today. Woo! I hope you're pumped up, because I am. Because today I'm gonna be talking about some unique fragrances that nobody's talking about. Some all year round, all season, all terrain fragrances. So stay tuned, cue that intro. What's going on, Fragrance Family, and welcome back to another episode of My Two Cents. My name is Brian, and this is the show all about boosting your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory. That's right. We're over 400 subscribers. I feel like it was just yesterday that I was doing my, my milestone episode for 100 subscribers. Man, this family tree is getting big. And uh, honestly, from, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much. There are so many branches on this family tree now, but there is room for so much more, endless room for so many more. So if this is your first time stopping by and you like talking about unique fragrances and how to boost your confidence through the art of fragrance, well then you are in the right stinking spot. So do me a quick favor. Take a second and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I'm posting new content. Throw me up one of these and contribute to the growth of this amazing family tree. It's amazing and you wanna be a part of it. And drop me some comments down below, cause I, seriously guys, I really like talking to y'all. So drop me, talk, let's talk. Anything you wanna talk about, let's do it. So like I said, today we are gonna be doing a subscriber inspired video. That's right, an episode that was inspired by Frank Salas. Yeah, he challenged me to do seven year round fragrances that can cut through the heat and the cold weather. So all season fragrances. So challenge accepted, Frank, and thank you so much for the inspiration. My dad's name's Frank. I'll never forget that name. With that out of the way, let's get into these all-terrain, all-season, all-year-round whiffs and sniffs. So starting the list off, we have 4160 Tuesdays, Shazam. That's right, Shazam, though this fragrance should be called Kaboom. This starts out with a lot of fresh citrus. Then has a lot of green characteristics in the heart that come, start coming through not too long after the opening. And you are going to get this woody and decadent dry down. This thing has got a lot of cedar in it. And it's got a really nice spicy olive oil. It also has a touch of sweetness. Though, this thing, if you spray too much, will fill the room. This thing will cut through the heat, cut through the cold, and everything in between. So if you're looking for something that's like a brand new set of all season tires, Check out 4160 Tuesdays, Shazam. Next up comes from the House of Divine, and it's Lone Sage. This bad boy has enough fresh citrus, enough spiciness, and enough woody depth to make it through any season. This house is never talked about. This house deserves some respect, because this right here is a signature scent in a bottle, if I've ever seen one. It's for the wise man. Yeah, Lone Sage means wise man, or man of wisdom. So if you want to be known as a wise man instead of a wise guy, check out Lone Sage. Next comes from the house of Nasamato, and it is Absinthe. So it's got some wormwood in it, which really gives it that photorealistic Absinthe characteristic to it. This thing will cut through the heat. This thing will work beautifully in the spring and in the colder months. That boy has enough greenery and woodiness to make it through from Thanksgiving to Christmas and through the New Year. This thing is a beautiful composition that never gets talked about. I highly suggest getting your nose on Nasamato Absinthe. Boozy, green, and woody. What else do I need to say? Yeah. So the next one comes from Bless Indemendable, and it is Chipra Azurel. Wow. It has sparkling fruity citrus right off the bat. This thing is just so beautiful. And then this really nice fresh tarragon. So it's got this really nice green aspect to it. A nice clean rose, earthy green patchouli, but it is quite linear, but that's okay. This thing is a mood booster. When you're kind of feeling down, spray this on, it'll turn that frown upside down. This is like riding a jet ski. Y you can't be mad riding a jet ski. You just can't. I highly suggest checking out Les Indemendable, Chipra Azurel. 
a new addition to my arsenal, and that's Kajal Ohm. I've heard a lot of people say that this reminds them of a Lure Ohm sport. I don't get that. I mean, maybe a little bit, but this is fresh, aromatic, musky, and woody. The oud in it is phenomenal. It's like a powdery, sweet, and amalic oud. This is a signature scent if I've ever smelled one, because it's different. When everybody else is wearing Dior Sauvage Blue de Chanel, you could be wearing Kajal Ohm, because this is dapper, but with sex appeal. I mean, I don't know how to better describe it to you. It's like the dapper bad boy. Everybody's gonna be like, damn. Man, that's, that's different. He doesn't smell like everybody else, man. That's good. If you wanna smell dapper, but still have a bad boy side to you, check out Kajal Ohm. Next up, I don't think I've ever seen a review on, though I might not have been looking for one. It comes from the house of Penn Halligans, and it's LP number nine. Some people say it means love potion number nine. I think it means lasting power number nine. This is an eau de toilette, though it performs like a beast. And it, the hotter your skin gets, or you're working, or whatever you're doing, this thing just keeps going, keeps going. Though you could wear this as a signature scent, this is something that is more along date nights, special occasions, but can be worn all year round. Now you should always be careful on the trigger with this one because you can overspray. You definitely can. So definitely when, if you're test driving it, just a couple sprays, start out with that. The bergamot starts out with the citrusy side of it. And then the, right off the bat, you're going to get some rosewood and then some nice cloves that just give it this nice herbaceous spiciness. Florals in it. Phew, beautiful green patchouli and then a really nice sweet vanilla mixed in with some ambers and musks this is what colin firth would smell like if he were a fragrance sophisticated and well-mannered definitely check out lp number nine by the house of pan halligans next up on my list that's right the ugliest bottle but i've been loving this fragrance loving it the grapefruit and cannabis gives it this nice punch to go right through the heat. It's leathery and woody, and it's perfect for the winter. So this has a nice dark citrusy side to it, and also a beautiful leathery woody side to it. This literally is a bad boy. It is. This is a badass fragrance. This still is my number one for 2021 for designers. I'm standing tried and true. This is a great fragrance, and it deserves more credit. So check out Carolina Herrera, Bad Boy, Le Parfum. So guys, all these fragrances definitely test drive. They're different and unique. I can't guarantee you that they're going to get you compliments or get you attention. I'm a man of my word and my word is my bond. And if I promise you and guarantee you that fragrances are going to give you compliments, then I've already lied to you. But I will say this, and I will always say this. If you wear anything with confidence, it'll get you attention. It'll get you the compliments you need. And also think about fragrances like this. Just like a house. You have this beautiful house, but you got some empty walls. So you decide to get some artwork to accentuate the walls. And then your friends come over and they're like, hey, man, that's some beautiful artwork in your already beautiful home. Well, you, my friend, are the house. And this is the artwork. All this does is accentuate the beautiful person you already are. So that's it for me today, guys. Another subscriber pick. Man, I'm so mm, pumped. Thank you so much for the love and the support. I can't wait to celebrate 500. I can't wait to celebrate every freaking day with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you enjoyed today's episode, then do me a quick favor and like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, you're stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails. Mm -hmm.